Hey everyone, it's Alejandro from Lodo Plays, and welcome back to Sunday Fun Day. This week, we're going to be taking a look at Mercenary Kings, which is an indie game that came out in 2014 for the PS4 and the PC that is a side scrolling shoot 'em up game. Mercenary Kings! With a very loud and kind of almost obnoxiously in your face intro screen. Anyways, I'll let me just get off of this really quick so it doesn't, you know, show a story cinematic. But, oh, before I forget, because I forgot to mention this until the end of the Dead Nation one, this game is co-op. <laughs> play it co-op. Okay, I, I'm going to play it solo, obviously, right now. But I, like most of the time, almost every single time I play this game, I've played it co-op. Because it's just, it's a great co-op game to play. Also, like Dead Nation, the story is awful. <laughs> um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's awful. It's just, I guess it's bare bones for the sake of being bare bones. I guess Dead Nation, I think it tries a little bit too hard. But this game, it's like, I'll just give you a brief summary. We're the mercenary kings, or something. I don't even know what they're called. We're trying to take out this evil doctor on this island. Mandrake Island, I think it's called. Uh... And he basically, like, slaughters my whole team, except me and this one woman. Or, if you play as a woman, then it'd be you and the other guy. And then you get injected with this mandrake formula that makes you super strong or something. And then you go back and just kick some ass. I mean, it's... 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 it's there. That's all I gotta say about the story. Anyways, let's get into it, because there's a lot of stuff to show off, because this game is, uh... I got a lot of depth, actually. Alright, so here we are at the home base. This is where you set out on missions, you equip your weapons, you buy new upgrades. I mean, there's lots of stuff to do here, and I'll just kind of show off a little bit of it. Uh, this is, a, I guess, a fair way through the game. Is If you see on the, uh, next to my name near the top right, there's a little, I guess, symbol there. That's the symbol of the major rank, which you get ranks by completing a set of missions, which I'll just show off really quick. You go over to this guy. So as I was saying, this guy over here is the one that gives you the missions, and there is a certain amount of missions in a category, and once you complete them, you move on to the next rank. I'm only on major rank, I haven't actually finished it, but that, that's how you set a, uh, select a mission, and then from there, you go to the uh, uh, helicopter to begin a mission. This place over here gets unlocked later in the game, it's where you can buy or make food from meat and bones and other stuff you pick up out there on your adventures and it gives you special effects so let's just go for one i'll just say bone mixed with dragon fruit five health uh five hp given with a food skill chance rate of 75 percent uh this is it's a lot of uh like you know stat and like menu management and stuff like this but once it gets into the action it, it really gets going so i'm just trying to show this off really quick let's just do that 75 percent chance of special effect sure sift activated and if we look at our not status active skills yeah you can see food skill these are all the bionic mods i mean there's a lot to this game it's it would be really hard to show off in just one video so i'm just going to try to keep everything kind of short here where i just kind of give a little bit of detail on it but obviously i would recommend you know either playing the game or just looking it, uh, into it more if you're curious Anyways, uh, this is basically just the menu screen right here. You can see the kind of uh, weapon I have in the right menu screen, but I'm not going to go into that too much for the second. This guy, he sells knives. Not sells. He actually makes knives, but you have to pay to make the knife. And there's, I mean, look at how many knives there are. And you unlock more as you go along. I mean, this is, it's, yeah, every time you complete a rank, you unlock more weapons and stuff, so, see, there's weapons, and then you can, there's a ridiculous amount of customization for your weapons, I mean, it's is <laughs> it's insane how much stuff you can add on to it. Uh, it's, uh, the thing is, you can, and then you can have just so many, uh, just different variations of it, obviously, I have this, the tribute rifle, which is, I guess, a special weapon that I actually, uh, like, uh, pretty, I uh, like it pretty okay it's it's a pretty solid weapon and you can choose the kind of ammunition you got it's, <laughs> there's so much stuff you can upgrade your armor and this here is the item shop uh you can supply you know put stuff in the supply box get stuff for missions i mean this game has got a lot of depth and here's mods 
where you, you can add two mods to yourself and the mods give you special powers. Let's just, for instance, this one cuts your reloading time. Uh, that one enhances resistance to caustic agents, so on and so forth. The problem with these are that they, a lot of them, except maybe Chef, which, you know, just makes health items become more effective, they have side effects. So, for instance, Lucky Penny, make your luck with this mod. More chance of finding rare materials. So, obviously, that's, it, you know, it's lucky for that. But if you look at the side effects here, less money rewarded. So, a lot of them have side effects and they increase your weight. Weight limit determines the speed that you can move. So, for instance, right now, I am moving at, where does it say it? Uh, normal movement. Yeah, okay. The second menu, the bottom right. If I went lower, you know, with the stuff I have equipped, then, yeah, I would, I would obviously be, you know, I think the fastest is, viv you know, fast or very fast. I'm not sure. Obviously, you can go to, like, slow and very slow, and then you're just kind of, like, crawling along. And it's actually harder to make jumps when you're like that. Now, this guy over here is the compendium. He shows you the enemies you fought, how many you've killed. I mean, standard stuff, but it's kind of nice, uh, a game as a compendium. This guy is just nobody. All right, these guys change your, I guess, your name and your outfit colors for what you're wearing. I have a nice outfit color I really like here. And craft banners that you can put in your tent. Obviously, I got uh, USA, USA number one, everybody. For everybody that is not in the USA, I'm sorry that I probably offended you. And obviously, cheeseburger because USA number one. And that just kind of adds to your tent, which you can see in multiplayer too, which this is a multiplayer area. This is split screen as well as online co-op. So uh, I think from over here, yeah, that's where you can do the multiplayer. And the last thing I want to show off before I get the hell out of here, because I know I've been rambling a bit. I just want to really show off the these features is, well, there's my tent with a cheeseburger on top. I go in. This is my tent. And these are my guns here. And the guns are your pre-save sets. You can save, I think, up to 25 sets with you. Yeah, equip a set. So I have five sets set right now. And each one is obviously uh, weapons of different. So let's just take out Pea Shooter for a spin on this mission I'm going to do. Pea Shooter is, uh, I like it. Doesn't do much damage. And, oh, oops, but weapons, you can use this uh, training dummy to determine the effectiveness of your weapons. Weapons sometimes, they don't have the range to reach the, you know, the dummy or like the ammo could be off. Or not the ammo, I'm sorry, the aim could be off so you'd miss the training dummy. So it's kind of good to check to see, <sighs> keep hitting that. Just kind of see where it goes. So, if we look at how I'm shooting right here, I'm doing a, I don't know, about 105 regular and then 25 caustic, which is the caustic ammo I'm using. And it's got a pretty solid range, but it's pretty weak. But it, the thing about this gun is, if you notice, it doesn't need to reload. So that's nice. Anyways, enough about that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show the last place off here, which is a place where I can actually some shooting action. But this is the hunting grounds where you can get meat and other stuff for this guy here. Uh, more of it gets unlocked as you play through the game. Might as well just show a little bit off of that now really quick. Alright, so as you can see, there's little animals around. If you shoot the animals, like you should be. Because you get, obviously for their meat, not for any other reason, of course. Alright, I killed that pig. He didn't drop anything. What a waste. What a waste of, you know, a life. I'm sorry that got pretty deep there for a second. Okay, uh... Yeah, and you can collect fruit as well in this area. I mean, this area is just really to stock up on, like, you know, small and simple things. There's not too much good here when you first start off, but ooh, big one. And he didn't drop a single thing. <sighs> of course not. Oh, there's a chest, and that's got wood. Uh... <laughs> I didn't even get into this. Uh, there's tons and tons and tons of materials in this game. Materials can be used to craft weapons, upgrades, mods. Wait, is it mods? I, well, I know money for mods, but uh, uh, knives, just ammo. I mean, literally everything. I mean, this game has got a lot of stuff to, you know, craft and make and do. Ooh, there's a bone I got from killing something. Yeah, weird thing is animals kind of like despawn after they've run a certain distance. Did I? No. Alright, see, so yeah, I just picked up some amber there. And I mean, that's basically it for the 
Hold on. Can I... <sighs> yeah, they... Those can actually hurt you. Oh, I picked up some medium meat from that boar. Uh, my life bar is up in the corner, as I'm sure of you guessed. If I... Because I know I didn't mention it. Uh, you can upgrade your life, as well as the... Well, actually, that's what your armor is for. Never mind, I'm sorry. I was about to say, as well as armor, but... Yeah, just life. And there's, like, certain mods you can get that could make it so, uh... You know, you could have, like, regenerating life or other things. Like, they got a lot of different effects. I mean, it's hard to, to really fit into one small video how much stuff there is to see and do in this game. But a lot of this stuff wouldn't really be anything interesting if it didn't have some good gameplay to back it up, which I'm about to show off now. So, I'm back here at camp, and I decided to switch my weapon, because the pea shooter, not that great. Uh, I mean, for earlier levels, it's fine, but... You know, for later levels, definitely not. So I got mostly machine gun, shotgun, assault rifle. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. So let's just go to the tribute rifle that I had earlier. All right. I'll have that on. And we see the difference right away. It's, it's fast firing. It does 206 regularly around there with uh, caustic damage. And well, actually, it's hard to tell because it kind of goes by really fast. But yeah, okay, you know what? Screw it. The point is... This weapon is much better than the pea shooter, but obviously it has to reload. Bang. Reloading is interesting. <laughs> Forgot about that. Bang. Bang. Yes, he does that pretty much every time. He has like a few different quotes, which is why I like King. He's got, you know, hilarious voice clips. Uh, voice clips. Anyways, uh, so that's just about it for everything I want to do here. So let's just get a mission going, but let's get a simple mission oh by the way before i select the mission uh the stars means that you've done the mission in under par time because there's a time limit or not a time limit. there's a there is a time limit actually but there's also a best time and if you complete the best time then it's like you basically just speed ran the level and beat the best time and you get a little star for that so i mean they have lots of things like rescue missions uh gathering missions neutralized missions rescuing is obviously rescuing a person and some of those people can come back to your base gathering his materials and neutralize is just killing people you know what i think this would might be a fun one to show off it's not a long one 10 minute time limit with 800 dollars reward which is wipe out the threat in the area so it's a pretty simple mission objective so let's go and do that yeah that's nice and oh forgot about the roll button there start mission we, that's all we got to do let's do this all right now we're getting into how the levels work oh Sorry, I got here. This is why I like Caustic, because I can break their shields. Though it didn't really matter too much, because, you know... Well, actually, it did. I, I was about to say, uh, usually it's not good to break their shields, because the guys who have shields will just empty their clip into you once you break it. So, yeah, as we have a time limit in the top, and we have to take out the threatened area. We look at the map, which on the touch screen, this this area that I'm in, coincidentally. Uh, one of the things I don't like about this game, though, because I've been singing its praises a lot... Oh, yeah, sometimes <laughs> there are secret objectives too, and apparently I just accidentally ran into one. But yes, one of the things I don't like about this game is that it, you, you have to go play the, a lot of the same levels over and over and over again. Like, not exactly the same objectives in a level, of course, but the same level. And it gets really tedious, but also some of the levels are kind of awful. Like this one, you have to keep going up and down elevators. I mean, us. I really hate this level. And you have to press up to make the elevator go up. There's there's worse, uh, I guess, layouts of buildings in this level where... Damn, I got hit there. Where when uh, you fall down, you can fall down like a few flights and then it'll take forever for the elevator to get to go all the way back up. So it's really just a, it takes a long time to do. And let me just show off my knife. I have a... I think it's a cattle prod. I don't remember having that. But yeah, uh, knives are... Uh, pretty useful if, you know, if you need to reload, but they can also reflect bullets. Can you shoot me for a good, a quick second? Maybe not all bullets and, and not all knives, coincidentally. It's, it's hard to tell which bullets can be reflected. I think it's bullets that aren't elemental and come at you at the right angle. Oh, it's the drones. And I, as you can see, I'm just picking up equipment, which, you know, you can just find in chests and off enemies. I mean, this is basically what the gameplay is. The gameplay itself is... I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, enhances it, but for the most part, it's just a side-scrolling shoot em up And if this... And it's a pretty good one, too. It's a pretty good one. And if that seems like your kind of thing, then... 
if you can get over, you know, the how much stuff that, you know, you actually have to do for preparations and everything, then, you know, it, yeah, it's, I would definitely recommend it, but I can see how some people wouldn't like something like this because of how you have to, you know, it's really menu-based with a lot of things because you have to really prepare yourself and make sure you have the right out, you know, you're outfitted correctly, the right gear, the right equipment, the right mods, I mean... It's, it's, there's a lot to do, and some people just might want to just say, hey, you know what, screw it, I want to go into the game and just shoot, and this game, you can, but you're not going to get very far, because you're going to have to eventually upgrade your stuff one way or another at some point. Anyways, let's go down, come on, basically just teabagging there, ooh. Alright, I want this guy to shoot me. Oh, he, ooh, he killed a hostage, my bad. Yeah, okay, see, I can reflect that guy's bullet, but not the shield guy's, and they look the same. That's so weird. You know, always just stab him a few times. And that's it. Ooh, then after the mission, you can just kind of move around just for a few more seconds, in case there's, like, anything you need to pick up. Come on, go up faster. Alright, uh... I only got $640, even though the mission said it was $800, because I have the mod installed where I get less money, but rarer materials. So that's why, obviously, the money looks a little bit different. Clear time was 327, but the fastest time, that's what I was talking about, two minutes. So, I mean, I wasn't trying to go for speed there. But that wouldn't be too hard to actually get through. I mean, especially with the loadout I have where I can move, you know, at a normal pace, which is pretty good. Okay, well, that's just basically it. I I know there's a lot of stuff to show off, and I probably didn't do a lot of it justice. Did I even talk to this guy? I don't even know. He oh, this is the guy that gave me the tribute rifle, or at least told me about the tribute rifle. But yeah, I mean, there's just so much stuff. There's, like, other things that you can use, like, uh, you know, grenades and C4 and, like, health kits if you need them. And it's there's a lot to this game that it's very hard to show off in just one little episode. But I wanted to give you guys just a little taste of how this game is and that i have to say it's a really damn fun game uh i guess i could j just give you a warning though it will give you uh well not, i'm not saying it will uh, but it could give you seizures because once you take out some of the bosses the screen just goes crazy with flashing i mean it's pretty bad for somebody with that of epilepsy i would not recommend this game at all it's i mean it hurts my eyes and i'm not epileptic so I, I, yeah, it's, uh, I wish they changed that, you know? I mean, they, they changed that for Guacamelee, to, from the regular version to the Super Turbo Championship Edition, like I had mentioned in my Guacamelee, uh, Sunday Funday episode, but, anyways, I'm kind of rambling on right now, but that's it for this episode of Sunday Funday. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.